did you shoot Greedo first, or did Greedo shoot you first? Um, I don't care. Welcome back to Film Gob, everyone. It's Shaker here, and we've got the first reactions coming in for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So let's have a look. Uh, this news is coming from IGN. They've collected a few of the reactions. It says members of the press, celebrities, and lucky others attended the world premiere of this film. And uh, basically what they're saying is if you've been nice to Lucasfilm and Disney over the past few years, you were invited. So it's the theatrical debut is on December 20th. Oh, I'm going to be watching it on Thursday. So that's the 19th. I'm going to have a... I'm going to get a head start on some of you. The reactions to this movie have been a bit mixed. Uh, because, you know, this is the final chapter of the, the Skywalker saga, even though it's got little to do with the Skywalkers now by episode 9. Let's see what some critics have said. Here's IGN's Jim Vevoda. He says, I'm still processing my thoughts on the film, but overall I would say I liked it, but had some big problems with it. Can't say I loved it, but there's still a lot to unpack. How about Teddy Schwartz? She's always a, she's, she's a classic Disney shell. She says, I've seen it. It's a lot. There's a lot I like and some I loved, but overall my feelings are pretty mixed. <gasps> it felt like an apology for The Last Jedi in some ways and a sequel to The Force Awakens in many, which I, which I found frustrating goes on a bit more but here's a uh, Laura Prudhomme and um, she's still processing the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker the emotions the emotional highs are spectacular and there are a lot of payoffs some earned and some not but some choices feel like an unnecessary course correct from The Last Jedi and some just plain don't make sense need to see it again Elizabeth Banks for some reason uh, she got invited she said no spoilers I cried and it has the best no sex love scene I've seen in a long while. No sex love scene. Ava Duvernay. She said the perfect end to an epic saga. The story is truly emotional. The direction is jaw dropping. I don't know how he did it. Uh, to, to balance scope and scale with so much heart like that is a feat. The performances are so damn good, especially Daisy, a fantastic ride. And you know, who's, the, who's this? Give us more Queen! Whoever he is, Kyle Krieger. Uh, moving on, Joanna Robinson. Salty Joanna Robinson. Uh, if you loved The Last Jedi, I have some bad news for you. If you didn't, then you might be pretty stoked. Hmm. So uh, it could be a lot of course correction I think is going on with this Rise of Skywalker. A lot of uh, um, retconning from whatever Ryan Johnson did in episode 8. Here's Eric Eisenberg. There is good in Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, but there is more that is disappointing. There are a number of choices that just don't track, fan service that doesn't work, and ignored details that are missed. I'm bummed. Mike Ryan. Uh, he says, it's certainly the most convoluted Star Wars. There's a lot I liked, but the first half gets so bogged down with exposition and new plot and doodads and beacons and transmitters, it feels like it should have been three movies on its own. Well, that's what happens when uh, you don't really go anywhere or do much in episode 8. Eric Davis. Epic, all of it. It's a terrific finale that is just stuffed with so much of everything action, adventure, answers. Humour, heart, love and grit. I spent the entire second half with tears in my eyes. A wonderful way to end the Skywalker story. He's a bit of a shell though. Eric Davis, I think he'll eat up anything. Kyle Buchanan, he says, Rise of Skywalker could only have been ruder to Ryan Johnson if they had motion smoothed it. Um, okay. Uh, Peter Shelletta, what was he saying? JJ uh, Abrams nailed it. He was able to bring a cohesive arc to this trilogy that feels like a fitting end to the saga as a whole. I'm so emotionally drained. Star Wars fans will be very happy. Okay, we'll have to wait and see. A lot of us, uh, only a few days to go till we find out. Cinema Blend, they said, it's a drastic departure from TLJ, but also not, not as invigorating as TFA. It's a movie packed with action. It's seriously non-stop, but also jammed with fan service. 
and praise for the debates, Star Wars fans. One reaction that's not on IGN's website is from uh, Stephen Weintraub, Little Frosty. Frosty Collider, Collider Frosty. He said, I so want to get into The Rise of Skywalker, reading some reactions that I so disagree with, but I don't want to take away anything from everyone's first experience with the film. Starting Friday night, I'm going to tweet my thoughts. So Frosty here, he's ready to go to war with some of his colleagues, with his black nail polish and his bald head. A few more big names that I forgot to include in this video. I had to finish the video and then I thought, oh, John Campia, what, what's he been saying? Uh, there are a few big, great moments and I'm sure a lot of people are going to love this movie. Unfortunately, I'm just not one of them. <gasps> Hopefully I'll like it a little bit more after I see it again tomorrow. And uh, you can see a little uh, fan, a little dig in there at the bottom, but uh, yeah, that's John Campia. That's his uh, first impression. But he, you know, this is the guy who's, uh, I think he watched Phantom Menace 16 times before he realised he didn't like it. Uh, what's Christian Harloff? Lot to take in. It's the big adventure, lightsaber adventure, I hoped for. A few things I still wonder if it was necessary, but it was very satisfying end to this new trilogy. When you, Whenever you hear... You know, there's a lot to take in, a few things that I might not have liked, uh, I was, it was satisfying enough, it was satisfying. We, we got this with uh, a few a few films, um, from Disney and uh, Lucasfilm over the years, oh it's satisfying. Uh, you know something's not right, Scott Mendelssohn. At worst I expected The Rise of Skywalker to be a well made movie that I didn't like or whose story choices I disagreed with. I was not expecting a genuinely bad movie with video game plotting, thin characters, weak action, and endless exposition of no consequence. Heartbreaking. You know, I think he got uh, he got schooled by Zack Snyder recently, so he's taking out his anger on everyone and everything else. So stay tuned for the live stream on Thursday evening, uh, probably UK time, obviously 9 p.m. UK time. After I've seen The Rise of Skywalker, I'll have a live stream and you can join in. I think it will be spoilers. It'll have to be a, it'll be, have to be a, a spoiler discussion, a spoiler review. But let me know in the comments what you think about these reactions. Can you trust them? They're a bit mixed, so you don't know what to say for now. You'll have to see it for, your, for, you have to see it for yourself in a few days' time. So click that like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. But until next time, I'm Shaker and I will catch you later. Guess what? I'm not. I've been busting my fucking ass being a Star Wars fan for five fucking years. I feel on the, the show. same way about. I've I've been called shill. I get I get screamed at. You know? So first on. of all, first of all, I don't want you to do that on the air. You can call me in afterwards. No, no, so no, you no. know what? So then someone else hosts the show today. We same way you did. The same way you didn't know. You're you act you act hot headed. Summer. You act yeah. hot headed all the time. The air. Because Why you, you can have a conversation with me afterwards and say to me, hey, I but how do we? But so tell the producer. And it's like you know, fuck off.